Today we're replacing this thermostat uh, with this one. If you have a big gas heater, you've got one of these. This is what you need. All right, I'm gonna have you open this with the, this is the Benchmade shootout, I think. We should use this. That's very lightweight. Uh -huh. Composite handle. Okay, well she does that. I will explain the nuances now of this thermostat. This has no power uh, running to it. In fact, we'll take it apart and I'll show you what's inside. And so when you install an S thermostat, you will need a 24 volt adapter to bring power to your thermostat. First thing we'll do is remove this from the mount and then we'll take the uh, thermostat off from the back. My lovely assistant has unboxed the Nest thermostat. I'm gonna have you put the batteries in. Oh, they're already in. But I think Just we need to pull those it. tabs out and we can set the thermostat up using battery fun. power. Here are the wires going into the thermostat and there's only two wires. And the one that's missing is the common wire and that's the one that typically carries power. So we're gonna add that. Let's see, I'm gonna take the thermostat off the uh, plate here. Fun fact, in case you didn't know, the thermostats you have that uh, metal portion there that expands based on the temperature and creates a contact point. And that's what activates and deactivates the uh, heater. No electricity whatsoever is required for these types of thermostats. To start, we're just gonna set this up on battery power. The white wire will go into the W and the red wire will go into the R. Okay, with these hooked up, we're going to put this inside of the, oh, you know what, I hooked it up wrong. These wires need to go through the back. This is wired in now. We're gonna put the Nest onto the base and then we are going to set everything up in the Google Home app. Orientation, you want that level on the top and then the thermostat facing up. Hack the network and get all people's information not, from that's it. That's not how that works. Oh, well, I don't know. So I I'm, watch TV. <laughs> okay, all right. She watches TV. Worried about hacking, so we don't want someone to hack the thermostat. Yes, you want to enter the address here. And then you're going to be the primary person on it, but you can give them access and control. My lovely assistant is making an account on the Google Home app and we will go through the setup process as soon as she's done. If you're using the Google Home app, you need to make your own account, or you may already have one, and you can attach this device to it along with your other Google Home devices. They are serious about their thermostat stuff. Do not turn the thermostat below 65. If you need jujitsu, Park City Jiu-Jitsu in Utah, great, great place for your jujitsu needs. We are now going to set up the Nest thermostat. So the first step, so you press settings, and one of the options is add device at the top. Yeah. It's locating. Okay, now it's looking for devices and it will find the Nest thermostat hanging over there, very sadly. What are you setting up? Thermostat. Is it a Nest? Uh, it is. Cam permission. Where's the code? This is the QR code in there. There you go. Okay, you got to agree to all their propaganda. Do I have an S account? Well, you have an have S account. Make, well, well, I'll make one for you. Mine. Nope, don't have any of those. Already installed. Connecting. Which of these wires do you have? So we're gonna lie to it, but we have the white and the red, it's the W and R, and then we're gonna pretend that we have the C. We're gonna say next. English language, whatever language you speak. So it says some wires aren't detected and we know there's no C, but that's okay, we're gonna add it, click next. Test your system's power. Okay, start test. Our heat source is, is gas. It is forced air, sure. Connect your thermostat to the Wi-Fi and install critical updates. So you hear that? So now this thermostat is thermostatting. So again, it does not have any external power coming to it. It's just operating off the battery power. It'll work like this for a while. Eventually you'll get an email or an update on the thermostat that says it's having power issues, so you can't leave it like that. We are going to connect this to our Wi-Fi. That's going to allow us to control this remotely if we need to. Real quick here, I'm gonna show you how to check and make sure all your wires are working. We're gonna turn this down so that the heater goes off. The way that this works is maybe not totally intuitive, but you run your finger on the side like that 
to adjust the temperature and you touch it with two fingers to pull up the menu. And what we're gonna do is go to the settings menu here. We're gonna go to equipment. We're gonna go wiring info. And it's gonna show us here that our C wire is not connected. We have a W and an R. And we're gonna add that C wire right now. I've got my AC adapter plugged in. I'm gonna unplug it before I do any wiring. I'm gonna run this wire that away and then up to the thermostat. So this is coming off of the adapter and these wires are ready to go into the base here. When you're doing the Nest setup, it's not very clear where these wires would go if they're from an external power source. I think the Nest uh, setup app tells you that you can't even use this thermostat with this heater, but that is wrong. To add the power, we're gonna put one of these wires into the C and then one of these wires is gonna go into the R here and that will uh, allow the thermostat to be powered externally. This is all wired up. Now we need to plug in our power. Equipment error still, no, 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 no. See, everything's good now. It's got the C, the W, and the R. Uh, Wi-Fi still needs to be set up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back apart put it onto the mounting plate, and then we'll set up the Wi-Fi. You don't need a new backing plate. You can drill holes into the old one the original thermostat was on. We're all about saving money here. Never spend any money. That's our motto. Got this all hooked back up, and we can screw this onto the box, and we can put our thermostat back on. Let's make sure we're good. No network, but do we have our power? There we go, CWR. So. This thing is good to go, and it will now control the, uh, that gas heater up there. Let's uh, turn this up and make sure it works. So we'll put it at 68. It turns orange to indicate it's heating. So here we go. It's heating, it's working, and uh, once you hop on the Wi-Fi, we don't actually have the password, we're doing this for somebody else. Once they, or once you hop on the Wi-Fi, you can uh, set everything up on a schedule or you can control it from the app. If you're coming to do some jujitsu, you can turn it on an hour before you get here. That's what I do over in my warehouse. I'm here uh, at the stockpile. I'm not over there where the other Nest thermostat was installed. My Nest is here. Just a quick update on the Wi-Fi situation. It turns out if you don't enter your Wi-Fi information during the initial setup, you do have to go back and do the setup again. Not a big deal. So just make sure you have your network uh, name and password handy. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing the setup twice. If you have to do it again, same steps. Look at this, see this over here on mine? Same thing, got my external C wire. This is the game changer right here, guys. So that is how to install a Nest thermostat on a gas heater. And in theory, they don't really need this anymore now because uh, they can just drop this to 55 or whatever they want every night or turn the heating off every night and then have it turn on in the morning or the afternoon before the people get here for class. Long term, that should probably save them some money. Remember, that's what we're all about here on the channel. We're about saving money. And if for some reason you don't like your nest, you can always go back to this thing. All right, that's it. We'll see you next time.